OK. The clock shows throws of information. In the upper row, you can switch between main bus voltage, outside air temperature in Fahrenheit, or outside air temperature in Celsius. In the lower row, you can choose between universal time, local time, flight time, and elapsed time. Elapsed time is a stopwatch which you control using this button. You can reset it, start it, stop it, reset it again. You can also make the stopwatch to count down. To do that, in the real unit, uh, you have to press both select and control buttons simultaneously. In the FSX, uh, we do that by pressing right mouse button on either of them. So, right click, and you see that both buttons are pressed, and the display started to flash. Now you can enter your time, and when you're finished, uh, the timer will start to count down. Uh, when the timer reaches zero, the alarm will be started and uh, the display will start to flash. Like this. You stop the alarm by pressing uh, one of the keys again. Flight timer is started when you turn on the battery but you can reset it manually by pressing and holding the control key for several seconds until it shows 99.59 and now it's reset and counts from the zero again you can also set the time of flight at which uh, the alarm will be started to do that you have to be in the flight time mode and again, right-click one of the buttons, the display starts to flash, you can s choose the flight time, for example, 1 hour and 20 minutes, and at this time of flight, the alarm will be started, so both audible warning will be sound and uh, the display will flash. You can also enter the test mode, by pressing and holding SELECT key for several seconds it will cause all the segments of the display to lead. That's all about the clock. <laughs>